Alrighty, there we go, that's recording. <clears throat> you know, a while back I said I was a philanthropist. So, let me tell you what I'm doing that may or may not help. I mean, it's just one me doing this, so how the fuck could it help when there's millions of people who are going to be affected? But anyway, this is just what I'm doing. Uh, a few days ago, when I went into the general practitioner's office, I told everybody there, this is the last time I'm coming into the office for my routine stuff for the foreseeable future. And here's the reasons why I said that. Because they are going to need to, first and foremost, be able to help people who are being affected by the virus outbreak that is a global pandemic. <laughs> CDC and the WHO couldn't figure that out in February. Wow. <sighs> anyway, I don't need to go in and take up time and space and energy they could devote towards helping someone else. That's just a, an addition to the first thing. Oh, it's going to be very difficult to break this down into sections and a bullet list, as it were. But anyway, I told my doctor, I can't, uh, I can't come in anymore because I'm not affected by this. You're going to need all the time and effort to help people who are going to be affected by this when that big giant wave of it finally smashes into our state. So, for a minimum of a year, I'm pretty sure this thing's going to go on further than a year, I won't come in, and as far as uh, medications you've got me on, these, these, and these, out of uh, all the ones I'm taking, I've been looking into it, and, you know, this supplement here that you've got me on, uh, it's going to be needed for other people. That was vitamin D for for my rheumatological and vitamin D deficiency problem. That's from my genetics. I can explain that much later when uh, when other things have um, been explained. But basically, what it boiled down to is out of the three or four three or four different prescriptions that uh, I was on, we concluded, hey, all but one of them I don't need. I can get most of this stuff over the counter. It's fine. Vitamin D, I can get that over the counter. If need be, I can go and order it online. That's fine. We can take care of that. That's done. Um, also, I've got some UV bulbs eh, somewhere around here. I don't remember where I put them. I could just uh, f sit there nude and in a. It's not as good as getting out into the sun. I know, but I I can take care of that. I can mitigate the problem somewhat on my own. But the one that I just couldn't do without because it would affect a comorbidity in case I did get infected, which I won't. I already know that I'm not going to. I've been reassured by um, well let's just say I've been reassured that's neither here nor there pay no heed to it for the moment that can be explained much later the thing I'm going to be keeping and she said, you know, we can write a year prescription for it and we can have it divvied out on 90 day uh, refills. So, all right, we'll do that. And we'll play this situation by ear closer to next year. And I'll give you a call and we'll see what's what at that time. She, w she thought I was... Uh, trying to be nice to her, I, I told her pra practically and flat out, I'm, I'm not trying to be nice to you, I'm thinking of this as, you know, 
to help you do your job more efficiently for people who are going to need your help. Because I already know, even though she's a general practitioner, they're going to call, they're going to make the call for everybody in the medical field, all the way down to the people working as, uh, oh, what is it? It's not interns, it's just above that. Almost everyone working in her office is going to be called in to help because the people working in her office answering the phone, they deal with the paperwork and everything, so they can help in some regards somewhere in um, uh, logistics for this situation. But she, the general practitioner, she's going to be called into some heavy action. She may even be kitted out with a fucking hazmat suit and asked to go into potentially infectious scenarios and situations to assist people who need the help. So there's no use in me, you know, going in every month or not every month, but going in every six months for a semi-annual there's just no use in that. Now, let's see. What do I need to explain? Probably that reassurance where I won't get infected. Well, as the being you all call God, hate that title, but there's a reason that title exists. Won't get into the etymology of that. Fuck that for now. But as this being that I am, I'm an entity. I inhabited this body when the original inhabitant was six years old and died of a heart attack. I saved him and I told him, hey, you know, shit's getting thick. The best thing for you to do right now is to go off into that safe space with your uncle who died a while back. Yeah, just basically go over there with him and just wait for this thing to go off. Just wait for this situation to, to peter out. That way I can focus all of my attention and power on doing things here. So, with an immense amount of pain to myself, which I still haven't found a way to mitigate, but I've latched on to an idea. I used a great amount of my power to make myself immune to this. To make this physical body immune to it, actually. Me, myself, I'm an entity. I'm an energy being. I can just jump into another body. But what good is jumping into another body if it's infected? Or can get infected? So no. I've chosen to stick with this body and keep it as a souvenir, basically. So, I made it immune. It hurt like fucking hell, too. And no, you can't take my immunity that I've programmed into this body's genetics and put it into another person by any means. The immense amount of power, which you call magic, behind it would kill you. Even if you were to synthesize it. If you tried to take it, the genetics from this form synthesize it, it would still kill you because it requires that power. So, there's no hope there for you. Oh. This is important. If you take nothing else away from this video, take this away. The word adventure, when you look it up in the dictionary, it literally means a great risk or undertaking. A great risk. So what's happening now is a big adventure. And a lot of um, a lot of gamers out there are going to think, oh yeah, an adventure is supposed to be fun and fantasy and shit. No. An adventure is a risk. A massive risk. So when you say the word adventure and you think of it jovially, you're thinking of it all wrong. And right now, humanity is facing its massivest, well, largest, most massive adventure 
in quite some time. I mean, yeah, every 100 years on this planet, there's a pandemic that wrecks the human population. But even 100 years ago, last time this happened, you didn't have the fucking internet, so you could look at its effects on every individual independently. Now, did you? So what you're on right now is a massive risk and a massive undertaking of that risk. It is a massive adventure. Even though the word adventure means a great, and by great it literally means large, a very large undertaking of risk. So it is a massive one. And on that note, just remember... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You can't have one without the other. And this is uh, one of the few cases where you humans can all agree, you can have your cake and fuck it too. Okay, till next time. Fuck off.